Hi folks, it's Keith Beardsley, VE3SVQ here, also on, on occasions VA3KEI, but usually I use the, uh, the VSQ call. And just giving you a quick introduction to our blog, thank you for joining us. This is going to be a simple blog, it's not going to be complicated. It's aimed mainly at first-time amateurs and people just starting off wondering what they're doing. We'll show you some of the things I do over the next few months and, you know, Feel free to comment, feel free to offer suggestions for other things as well. There won't be anything complicated. I don't build equipment and I have no interest in doing that whatsoever. But we're gonna play, have a bit of fun. So, Generally speaking, this is where we hang out when we're playing radio. That's a relatively new radio, an ICOM 7300. I absolutely love it. I had a Kenwood before uh, uh, 430S, so, you know, from the 1980s, and this is brand new and very effective. You've got the mic over there, and as you see, the old humble Morse code key here, which eventually we'll have to get back into practice and, and redo it, and that's one of the projects for the winter. Over in the side, you've got the, the power supply. Uh, it's a small one. It's got a fan on it, which I find a bit too noisy, but, you know, generally speaking, not bad at all. As you swing around, there's, of course, part of the two meter. And in the corner here is the little two meter rig. And beside it is the antenna tuner for the ICOM. Now the ICOM has a built-in one. I've always used the extra one. I absolutely love this particular one. It's, it's, it's very, very good. It's an LG, excellent. Now this interesting one is an MFJ 1796. And I get asked repeatedly, what the hell is a 1796? So there it is, six bands, does uh, 10, 15, 20, 40, six and two. Now, not a very big antenna, it takes up very little room. So if you're a new amateur and have a small backyard, this one actually works. A lot of people don't like this antenna. Uh, they are a pain in the, in the butt there to put together. But you know, they get out. That one's been up since 2005, so that's quite, a few snowstorms, freezing rainstorms, and windstorms. And I've spoken to something like 139 countries on it with 110 confirmed. So it does work if you're a new amateur, it's not overly expensive. So this is the Ringo, it's my two meter. It's not off the ground very high, probably about 15 feet. It's having a bit of problems getting out here, as you can see, if you swing this way. I've got a ridge of trees and a, and a hill here, so the Ringo has problems, but uh, we're still working on that one and playing with it. It's Keith Beardsley, VE3SVQ, thanking you for dropping by.